Earlier today, we got a brand new trailer for Final Fantasy 16, which has just dropped out of nowhere, but we're going to react to it in 3, 2, and 1. Let's go. Michael Mature 17, as guest. It has been 1,500 years since the fall of our fall. This is in game. This looks. And that's good. That, that's some good looking water, that. Is this this must be in game. You can kind of tell it's in game, but damn, this looks good. So this is probably going to be like a full in-game trailer right here. We're in the middle of the deadlands. The bright sun is twice dry. Ain't no trees, no birds, and no magic. Darkness spreads as day gives way to twilight. The mother's flame now. Ooh. I'm hearing some. I'm hearing some prelude there, I think. I think. And the crystals work their magic through us. You have been blessed, Joshua. But who shall claim their fading light? The Grand Duchy of Rosaria, bastion of tradition. This is like this is truly a large scale fantasy. The holy empire of San Breck. <sighs> that's a that's cool. It's like a giant ice mountain fly over every city in storm all shall bow before their enemy the dalmechian republic whose fortunes shift with the desert sands and what of our wise rulers this is like big game of thrones vibes right here different houses and stuff i know that's not creation of game of thrones but gives me those vibes still their souls were sullied with this stain of ether. I merely cleansed them of their corruption. Or the kingdom of Wulud, indomitable in its isolation. There's a lot of kingdoms here, isn't there? more of the realm with each passing day. And as the fringes fade, the people flock to the mother crystals. From a single spark, will the land ignite? In the year... 860. The Imperial Army will march upon Rosario. Oh God. It's not holding back on that brutality. And from the slaughter shall a new shadow rise. Wow. All okay. Upon the dominance. Painting this is good. Black as night. Wow. Great might should okay. command respect, but instead has left us outcasts. And so I became their puppet. What makes them think they have the right to use us? To leave us to die when our bodies are spent. I'll crush him! Flay him! Lost of screaming. So good. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. summer 2023 so there's no release date still that's kind of unfortunate all right guys so that was the brand new trailer for final fantasy 16 before i get to my thoughts i want to hear what you thought of it so head on down to the comment section below and let me know it's just 
it's continuing to sell me on it. I was already sold on it because it just looked great from, especially the last trailer. Like, that last trailer was phenomenal. And I think it's better than this because it's maybe a little bit shorter. I think this was a very, very long trailer. But this is, like, the, the real world setup, and I guess sort of the story set up as well, I guess you could say. And like I said, it's giving big Game of Thrones vibes. Game of Thrones didn't invent the whole idea of different houses, but you combine that with, like, a dark fantasy setting with brutality within there. Yeah, it's kind of the easiest comparison, at least in terms of modern day stuff, is Game of Thrones, which I really like. That's got great world building, it's got a great story, and um, it lends itself very well to Final Fantasy because, you know, fantasy uh, kind of makes sense. But yeah, I think this is going to be like a story on an epic scale with lots going on, lots of different characters, lots of different sides within this conflict. It's probably going to be a long game because of that. I think this is going to be a, a solid length, as every Final Fantasy game, at least recently, has been. You're going to be looking at like a 30 to 40 hour main story, plus then you're going to have side stuff as well. It's going to be a big game. It's looking ambitious, as evident by the title of this trailer being Ambition. I really love what I'm seeing. A lot of that looked in-game, and it looks fantastic. I am sold even more so than I was, and I just need this game right now. Summer 2023 can't come soon enough, and then in winter 2023, of course, we got Seven Rebirth as well. It is well and truly going to be one of the best years for Final Fantasy. I think ever. Before I get out of here, I would really appreciate if you could leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're a fan of anime and Japanese gaming. If you want more Final Fantasy 16 coverage, whenever we continue to get news leading up to the release of the game next year, I will try to cover that where possible. And of course, when the game releases, you can expect a review, you can expect plenty more videos as well. I want to try and work my way through all the mainline Final Fantasy games before this releases. I can't promise that because there's 15 in total and out of the mainline ones, I've only played seven. So I've got a hell of a long way to go. But that is my goal. If I can get there, you guys will get a ranking of all 16 mainline titles. Like I said, can't promise it, but it's something that I want to work towards. As always, thank you so much for tuning into MChat today, and I'll see you all in the next video.